All right, Ron, thank you. And I'm so glad you brought up Memorial Day because it is time for this week's Mom's Morning Minute. And with Memorial Day weekend coming up in just a few days, a lot of pools are going to be opening for the summer. May also happens to be National Water Safety Month. And that what's, what brings us to this. I spoke with Christine Palmer from Goldfish Swim School to get some tips and reminders. Sadly, drowning is the leading cause of accidental death for kids under the age of four. Palmer says it's important to always have a designated water watcher. This person should know that they are on duty. That means no magazines or books or cell phone nearby. She says not just kids, but adults too should never swim alone. According to stopdrowningnow.org, 23% of child drownings happen during a family gathering near a pool. If you're at a public pool, remind the kids what the rules are and point out where the lifeguards are stationed. And if you're heading to a lake or the ocean, Palmer recommends a brightly colored, colored bathing suit so you can keep an eye on them easier. Palmer also says children who have swim lessons and practice basic techniques reduce their risk of drowning by 88%. She says it's really important to build that muscle memory of how to swim so if they're ever in a situation where they need to get out of it, they'll remember what to do. Lindsay.